some sound over here. You are a part of the Ace and TJ radio family. Go. This is launch control. Let's synchronize, shall we? Ready. Three, Three two, two, one. Let's go! Live from the Calatrin Studios, this is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Ooh. It's a dreary day where we are. It's dreary. But we can't tell that it's dreary when we're in here because everything's blacked out, man. These TV lights. You can't see out. So that's a good time when you can't see outside is when it's so dreary. I don't know. I don't know, Riggins. You, <laughs> you know, come in here all dreary. I, I hate days like when it's dreary. Oh, I just know. That means I gotta walk the dog and around. Like it's just d- oh, down. Yeah, it's Day's already back shot to for you now. Yeah. Always back to the dog. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Let's see what's doing. Oh, it's not man. the news. It's more important. Now trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ show. It brings you so much heartache. That dog it does. It does. But I'm gonna get another dog and turn things around. <gasps> oh, don't do that. Spilling a little tea there. Uh, Taylor Swift trending this morning with Travis Kelsey, kissing out in Vegas. I mean, what a incredible month she's had. 14th Grammy, world tour kicking back off, announcing a new album, and then to cap it all off, her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, <laughs> wins a, his third Super Bowl ring. I mean, you're operating at an elite level when it comes to, as if her year wasn't incredible enough. Yeah. I mean, but, most powerful woman in the world, probably. Yeah. But she she hasn't accomplished anything with the Super Bowl. I get it. The other stuff she accomplished winning the Grammy yeah. and she accomplished having the <clears throat> having the the big tour and the and the, all that stuff. But it's still joy but, and happiness. Yeah. It's just joy. Yeah, I get that that's happiness, but I just don't want anybody making the mistake of acting like she actually accomplished something by her boyfriend winning the Super Bowl. It's oh, a she, bigger accomplishment she, for him than it is for her. Sure. Now, I know that um that she m- played a big part in the um the morale for the fans but that didn't help them win the super bowl Mm. they won the super bowl because that's the way the nfl commissioner drew it up Mm. (laughs) t roger bad l oh that's his name ought to be Uh not good l bad l do you want to go you think it was scripted and rigged no, but I just knew they weren't going to let Christian McCaffrey and them win. What is the Christian? I don't get what the Christian McCaffrey thing is. I don't. I don't. I just don't follow it like that. Well, because he's too good of a soul. He and Brock Purdy are too. You know, they're too moral. They're too good. They don't have. They don't have any skeletons or anything like that. And they don't act out. You'd never hear see Brock Purdy yelling in the face of his coach and then hitting him with his chest and. You know, like Travis Kelsey, you wouldn't see him throwing his helmet and breaking it. Okay. You wouldn't see them TikTok dancing, none of that stuff. Yeah. They're just good, wholesome people. And U.S. America in 2024 is just not going to allow them to thrive. Really? That's what it is. Especially in that NFL. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, did you see some, was it Sarah V, the skincare or Cetaphil? That used the Taylor Swift effect in their commercial. They were like, another reason uh, dads and daughters have a reason to watch football this year. And it's like a girl that doesn't really care about football. She's on her phone, and her dad brings in a number 13, which is Taylor's number jersey. Yeah. And then she comes down and watches the game with him. So they don't they don't use Taylor's name, but it's heavily implied like, hey, yeah. th- this season, more dads and daughters got bonding time because of Taylor Swift. And that's a real uh, – yeah. a pair that really is a – that's a father-daughter – combo whatever that the dad did experience that this year that that, that's kind of their story encapsulated into a commercial that the daughter got interested in football because taylor swift was on tv all the time Mm -hmm. at the football game (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) when that's great yeah i said that the other day when when i I brought that story so this is great the dads and daughters sharing football together and all that but taylor swift did nothing to win the super bowl Okay. Except play the part of the star of the show. <laughs> That's right. it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people talk about the commercials and all that. Beyonce has two new songs out. She announced a new like country album. Um, and the songs are pretty good. 
they announced a bunch of new movies during the commercials. Yeah. Can I mention one thing again? Go back about Taylor Swift for a second. Did you see the NFL? I think they tweeted that called her an icon for the way she slammed that she chugged that beer during uh-huh. the game. They put her up on the big screen and she chugged an entire beer, and the people, place went crazy. And they were like, "What an icon!" They posted the videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love it. Love you to see it. You wouldn't see Olivia um, Culpo. Culpo or whatever her name is do anything like that. Nope. Wholesome. Really? She's wholesome. wholesome. Okay, I didn't know this about yeah. Christian McCaffrey. Do you know him personally? Is that why you're coming to his defense? Um, well, n- I, no, I don't. I don't. I never met him, but I mean, I know uh, him and Brock Purdy and their personalities and all, just like you would anybody, any of the um, derelicts. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know their behavior. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. I know yeah. they're terribly good looking. That is right. an, a, a ridiculously good looking couple. Yeah. Uh, Christian McCaffrey and Olivia Culpo. Mm-hmm. But as far and as. And she point, was dressed so, so nice yesterday. I noticed really? her dress, was, what she was wearing was so nice. Mm. His mm. mom was dressed nicely. Just a good family. Yeah. Really, nice good, really good family. <laughs> Wholesome. Wholesome. Good. Okay. The good stuff about America. Remember that, Christian. Don't go get DUIs and all this crazy stuff because <laughs> TJ has yeah. put you on a pedestal that you could never fall from. And don't yell and scream at your coach and then chest bump him and almost knock him over when he's, you know, way older and more feeble than you. <laughs> That's real tough, isn't it? <laughs> Mr. Kelsey. <laughs> a woman uh, went to apply for a job. She got the job, and then things fell apart in an unexpected way. I'll tell you the story next. Live in the morning and anytime you want it on the Ace and TJ family app. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. More next. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. All guests of the Ace and TJ show stay at the Hyatt-centric Charlotte South Park. Beautiful rooms, incredible dining options. Book your room by calling 980-299-7123. It's the Hyatt-centric Charlotte South Park. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. Attention Charlotte, treat yourself to a delicious meal that's made with fresh, seasonal ingredients and ready in just 20 minutes. Enjoy a fine dining experience without ever leaving your home. Head over to tableandtwine.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. New episode of the TJ and Jody's House podcast today around noon. Is that right? Right, right. More about noon. Oh, it'll probably be earlier. Maybe earlier. You can watch it on the new Ace and TJ app, the new Ace and TJ family app, acetj.com slash app. Watch all the podcasts, listen to all the shows, win great prizes through Ace TJ Rewards. So many things over there on that app. So go get it. Uh, on another app, uh, TikTok, there is a trend where millennials and Gen Zers uh, will recommend that you just lie on your resume. If you're looking for a job, because their logic being these companies don't really care about you. You're in the you you should just be lying so that you secure the job and make the paycheck. Who cares if you don't meet the minimum requirements? You got the job. You're going to get paid for it. Doesn't really matter if you do a good job at it or not. Just try to make it as long as you can while collecting a paycheck. I think that's terrible advice, mainly mm-hmm. because when you lie on your resume and they think you are more educated or you're capable of a certain skill and then they find out you're not that's got to be the most stressful thing you could possibly go through every day not if you don't care either way yeah maybe not not if you're a narcissist you think yeah you're like whatever i I do a bad job who cares right if you're following along with what these people are saying who cares you do it until then you get the paycheck until you know you get fired or whatever yeah they don't they're not going to worry about waking up every day and going. i hope they don't find out i don't want to lose my job yeah 
They're doing it like I don't care what their rules are. I don't care what the requirements are. I lied. I want the job. I need the money, and I'm not going to put myself out in any way. Yeah. I'll to just go to get follow it. their rules. I'll just go get an, I'll lie and get another job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, part of that is almost kind of freeing. Like you so don't care and you're so unbothered by the fact that somebody would fire you for not doing a good job. I, I, I kind of envy that to sure, be that kind of like, oh, who cares? They're going to fire me. So what? I got the check. Yeah. That's a wild behavior. But a woman uh, says she, she, I was clear when I applied for the job that I did not have a MBA, a master's of business administration, whatever that is a high business degree. She said the recruiter knew that. I still went in the interview and I told him I didn't have an MBA, even though that's what they were looking for. And I got the job. And then uh, the next day, another recruiter called her and said, hey, we need to talk about your offer because I guess it became clear to them that she mm -hmm. was not qualified to do it. But that's not really what we're talking about. When is lying totally okay? Give us a specific example. Maybe it's lying on a resume just to get the job. Like that business doesn't care about you. They, you should just be there to collect a check. And in that case, it's mm -hmm. totally fine to lie. When is lying totally okay? You can be anonymous if you want to. At The Ace TJ Show, we'll get your answers next. Share Funny is now a little extra. The Extra Funny Podcast coming up at 9 a.m. live on the Ace and TJ Family app and anytime wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ Podcast and Radio Show. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong, because this year you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Should you buy? Should you sell? How do I present my house if I do want to sell it? All of those questions can be answered by the experts, and they can take care of you with the Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. The Temple Team knows everything there is to know about selling, marketing, and buying houses. So get in touch with them today at acetj.com slash Temple Team. The Temple Team at Keller Williams Realty. The United States truly is a special place. The land of the free. A real melting pot of cultures from all over the world where men, women, and children are given the opportunity to pursue their own little slice of life, liberty, and happiness. And what better way to celebrate our rich history than with some sweet President's Day furniture deals? Right now you can save up to $200 on select queen beds. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's more than regular funny. <laughs> It's Extra Funny. The Extra Funny Podcast is live every weekday at 9 a.m. Eastern on the Ace and TJ Family app and available anytime where you get podcasts. Now, more Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. We'll get into reasons why uh, it's okay to lie sometimes. Uh, but first, I, I didn't mention this during Now Trending, but I do want to point out the Puppy Bowl happened uh, yesterday. Team Rough beat out Team Fluff. Uh, right before the uh, the Super Bowl t took place. That's where they have a bunch of um, adoptable pets come in. But I thought about TJ at one point because they have a 14-year-old dog from a shelter, and this is how they described it. Um, she's 14, mm -hmm. deaf, and vision impaired. Uh, we'll be featuring other sense-impaired dogs throughout this, the puppy mm -hmm. bowl. And I thought, oh, now that's something Ace and TJ would have just called a blind dog. Yeah, it's a blind that, dog. That's a blind oh, no. dog. Blind and deaf dog. Yeah. It's blind and deaf. I don't know why they thought it was okay to call him deaf, but vis vision. Maybe he's not completely, or, or she's just, not completely blind. Just partially. Yeah. But partially. shouldn't be in the puppy bowl. Yeah, it was a big dog. I was right, like, how's 14. that going to participate? But it's a 14-year-old dog. That's not a puppy. Not a puppy. True. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It was a big dog, too. And, oh, these puppies See? are going to be terrifying. Now, even the puppy bowl seems to be following a script. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's all rigged, baby. But I love that they feature sense-impaired dogs. <laughs> I love that. Um, so when is it okay to lie? A lot of people on TikTok 
job talk specifically say it's okay to lie on your resume as long as you get the job and they start paying you who cares how you got there you got the job some people are what they call personality hires they didn't hire you because you're so skillful they hire you because you're going to bring a certain attitude to the workplace and that's acceptable so why is lying on your resume not okay that's that's the argument they're making so when is it okay to lie a lot of these are these answers i think are pretty good um like marcus it's okay to lie when a woman vents to you don't give her your honest opinion don't give solutions just listen and agree that's a totally perfect one yeah no it's not how is it not she's she, not looking for solutions she just wants to complain oh she's com com complaining about other stuff not complaining about you she's i would yeah i would imagine okay. yeah 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 i think when she's directing about you I, that's no, I, and good. i don't agree with that either really no if uh if she doesn't want someone trying to help her with her problems don't talk to a man about it because it goes against his nature not to try to help her that is true so it's cruel it's cruel it's cruel to go to a man and tell him uh, these things that are bothering you what's upsetting you and he's your he's your guy you know your boyfriend or your husband yeah and then you expect him to just sit there and not try to help you through this difficult situation and then you're going to get mad at him if he does then go tell it to your nail tech or your bff or your mom or some other woman who's built to listen to things and not try to offer you help other than a sympathetic shoulder because men are not built that way and to go against that is going against their nature and it's cruel and unusual hmm. very true should a man ever vent to a woman and expect that in return like a not trying to offer solutions does i mean no. does it work both ways? no it doesn't no because no. women aren't wired like that right but a man's not wired to just talk about things and not not get some and not ask for somebody's help yeah you know if he's talking about it then he's looking for help but that's why most of the time he won't even talk about it just bottles it up yeah yeah interesting and because he doesn't want to burden somebody else with it yeah yeah you know, so they can't help me so why would i burden them with this problem fair enough okay i like that um, and then Kim said, when somebody, it's okay to lie when someone cooks for you. I appreciate the effort and will yeah. compliment something that's the, about right. it. No to me, what. that's the one. Anytime someone puts forth an effort for you and they mean, and they're going above and beyond. So the gift's not great. Hey, they still went to an effort for you. So the food's not that great. They still made an effort for, as long as yeah. it was a genuine effort and their intentions were pure and, and good, mm -hmm. it's totally okay to lie to them in that case. Yeah, to spare their feelings. Yeah, absolutely. Because no. they, their intentions were very, very, very good. But if you lie on your um, job application or whatever, your resume, and you get the job and then they find out about it, you should have to repay the company what, what money that you made because you made it under false pretenses. Whoa. So that, that lying's not good yeah. either. And, and yeah. sometimes people make you sign a thing saying that these statements are true, true. that I've given and I, yeah, all I of that. Most of them do, yes. right? So then, then if you lie, then it's a it's a, a, a legal situation. Yeah, they yeah. can they can also that allows them to fire you without having to give you any severance whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe rethink it if you if you're planning online on that resume. So uh, the Super Bowl not the only big thing to happen over the weekend. Big things happened in the life of one member of the Ace and TJ show. We'll get to it next. Don't, don't miss the extra funny podcast coming up at 9 a.m. Eastern. Live on the Ace and TJ family app or download anytime wherever you get podcasts. More Ace and TJ coming up. When it comes to your money and things like a cash out refi, you hear a lot of stuff these days. Information is flying around, but here's the bottom line. You want someone you can trust. Well, here is someone that we trust, Richard Takato and the Richard Takato Companies. We worked with Richard for years, and you know all the ins and outs, and more importantly, you give everybody options. That's right. We have a lot of options. You know, this one lady, we just refinanced her house, paid off all of her credit card debts. Got re she even paid her car off. She's saving a thousand dollars a month, so that really changes her life and her, you know, her financial well-being yeah and she didn't have to make a house payment until 2024 so i mean there's not a better time to do it is when you need the extra money every month they call it cash out is what we call it in the business cash out. cash out <laughs> that's right cash out so it's one free five minute phone call right now 704-800-4719 704-800-4719 or go to home with richard.com do it today you'll be so glad you did the richard Takato companies it's a new year, which means new you. No, not if you've got nagging pain. That means we want old you, old you before you had that pain. And it's possible 
without surgery, without medication, without downtime. Thanks to Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. I am a Neogenics client. I am a Neogenics lover because they fixed my left wrist. And you can get a free consultation right now. Call 704-727-6551 or online at acetj.com slash Neogenics, N-E-O-G-N-I-X. Bradham Brothers offers heating, air, and electrical installation and service that you can trust. Their family business has served thousands of customers with honesty and a smile for over 50 years. Go to bradhambrothers.com to schedule service or a free estimate today. Great food, great drinks, great service, and great atmosphere. You can find them all at one place. Fahrenheit on South Caldwell in Uptown Charlotte, 21 stories above the city. Get details and make reservations at acetj.com slash Fahrenheit. As a proven leader in managed IT services, CompuCom delivers innovative solutions designed for how you work today. They'll help you deliver results no matter where you are on your digital transformation journey. It's all at CompuCom. Go to CompuCom.com to find out more. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University Area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at a tj.com slash culvers create an unforgettable experience with the cabarrus arena learn more at cabarrusarena.com weddings banquets shows expos they do it all at the cabarrus arena learn more at cabarrusarena.com This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show from the Calitrin Studios. Lose weight the safe and effective way with Calitrin. Go to acetj.com slash weight loss to get details. Now, Ace and TJ. Ace and TJ. Are we going to put Usher's halftime performance in the top five Super Bowl halftime performances oh, ever? No, I are, wouldn't. Are we going to put him in the top ten? Um, I don't think i would i don't know because i'm not I, one i didn't see ursher and then the other is i don't i've never put that much um emphasis on um, watching the halftime shows even when i could stay up later than i do now i i do remember prince's halftime show being really good yeah yeah and um and i remember um tom petty's being a hunk of crap <laughs> i remember that i don't even remember that one yeah rob what did would you put it in the top 10 Probably, but I, I most of the other ones are like the Rolling Stones did it a long time ago. I wouldn't be interested in that. Paul no. McCartney did it one year. Okay, no thanks. Yeah. Coldplay, Katy Perry, <laughs> Lady Gaga. It might make the top ten. Lady Gaga. No, those are all better. I you, think. Prince, you two are considered two of the best. The Justin Timberlake, Janet Jackson one, people forget. It was pretty great, except for the fact that you know, all you remember is the wardrobe malfunction. Nobody remembers the fact that they put on a hell of a show. Yeah. That Aerosmith, Britney Spears, mm-hmm. NSYNC one was great. Mm-hmm. Um, I mentioned Lady Gaga. Was yep. great. The one was it two years ago? Uh, the Dr. Dre. That was you know. I think that was way better than than Usher was. Oh, no, I, would, I would disagree. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't think that one. Was I good. I think the performances that uh, Britney Spears is doing now are way better <laughs> than what she did back then. I mean, I saw her dancing on Instagram in a devil costume the other day. Oh, it's just really? that's a, I, I think she may have reposted that as an oldie but goodie. But yeah. yeah. Okay. Tongue I mean, flicking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just edgy, mind. edgy, edgy stuff. Was Usher better than Bruno Mars in 2014? Not even close. No. No. I'd forgot. I'd even forgotten Bruno Mars did it until I saw it over the weekend. Why do you think you forgot about it? Mm-hmm. Well, I just don't remember that. Because it wasn't better. good. Get out of here. It was spectacular. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a great Britney comeback. Is yeah. like she gets announced as like the... Her big... Com- I mean, that would be the biggest thing in the world if they were like, no new Britney music, but... Halftime of the Super Bowl. Halftime of the Super Bowl. It's like going just ripping through hits and like Britney comes out looking yeah. amazing and her, who's, her who's hair gonna, looks good. Who's gonna take that chance? It's say, you know what? Please, are you kidding me? Let's That'd get, be the most viewed thing ever done. Who cares if she bombs? Eyes are gonna be glued to that. You gotta keep the knives away from her though. No, I think you gotta she go can, all in. I think if she's given a year to work on it and um yeah. they get whoever whoever shoots up Joe Biden before he goes out, 
time. And, and you know, can can look like he's with yeah. it for 30 minutes or five minutes or whatever. They get that person to do Britney the same way. Yeah, I think she could kill it. All you, really, all you need, 12 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just not need... like she's taking, you know, questions afterwards or yeah. anything. Yeah, That's that'll right. just be like, yeah, no pre-interview, yeah. no new music, no in, none of that. Just shows up and performs at the halftime. I mean, it would be the biggest thing in the world. Can you see him backstage? You, though, let, let, Brit, we need 12 minutes. Old, good, great Britney. Yeah. Give us that. And yeah. we're home free. And then just like 12 minutes of her spinning. Like just <laughs> mm-hmm. arms out. That would be incredible. <laughs> wow. Get Ace and TJ anytime, anywhere at your convenience with the Ace and TJ Show podcast. Available wherever you get podcasts. More Ace and TJ is next.